Further questions and comments? I recognize the member from Sudbury. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I want to echo also the comments the, the member opposite said about uh, uh, pets who are in distress in vehicles. I, I remember a couple of years ago going to Vaughan Mill, to, uh, Vaughan Mill Mall, uh, and they were checking every car to see if you had pets in your car. And it's a move forward, and it, it's, a, it's an initiative that's being brought forward by volunteers. And the member from Brampton North, when he talked about this being overdue, you, we had a system where a charitable organization, and doing the best they can as a charitable organization, trying to do this on behalf of the government, and, and in having police-like powers, but not the transparency that comes along with a publicly funded one. And we talked about how we're very likely to support this, but the devil's always in the details. It comes with the funding and the, and the efficiency on this. I think it's important you know, to note, I think it was 2016 he had mentioned, we had 91 officers, which is not enough for the province of Ontario, but we, we've dropped to 60. So that funding, it comes down to, will we have adequate uh, officers for the North, for example? Because as the member from Brampton North mentioned, the North is vast. I, I remember driving through Algoma, Manitoulin and having to stop and refill for gas because of the vast distances in the north. The, the idea that when you're driving in the south and there's a sign that notifies you that you've left the city, you've entered a new city, when you drive to the north, when I go to camp, and those of you in the south, that's cottage in the north, but when I go to camp, you, you drive and my kids will fall asleep because there's nothing for an hour, and then you get to a town. And so how do you resource that for those, those animal protection officers who are going to be protecting our, our animals? You know? And I think one thing that really echoed to me was the frustration, the slap of the hand, when he told the story of the veterinarian who was swinging a cat who was sedated by the tail and slamming it on the ground. And, and how can you get away with that and your result be a slap on the hand? In that case, no result at all. So thank you, Speaker, for my time. Are there questions and comments? 